today's video is about moving from FDM printing to SLA printing. So those of you all who know me, I've been doing FDM printing for about two years now and I decided time to move into something a little bit different. So I decided to pick a little SLA printer up. And I thought, you know what? I've got all the tools. I've got a nice maker space. I'll just fit that right in. Wrong. There's so many things that you need to change when you do SLA printing because it's not as easy as just taking your printer and putting it down. There's so much post-processing that needs to get done. You're working with chemicals. You're gonna be dealing with harmful UV radiation. It's a lot to think about. Let's go take a look at what we need to get and what you need to do from moving from FDM printing to SLA printing. You're not gonna be using any filament, any PTFE tubing, caliper, pliers, hairspray, or even a metal scraper. So one of the tools you're gonna need is a plastic scraper. You notice I removed the metal one from that list. And the reason for that is you don't want this metal scraper cutting into that plastic sheet at the base of the vat in a resin printer. So what you gotta do is you gotta get a plastic scraper from your hardware store, or you can download one from Finiverse like I did and my FDM printer to print that out for us. So we're gonna have to find somewhere safe to put the printer. Outside is preferable. You don't wanna be inhaling those toxic fumes. So let's take a look outside. I'm sure we could find somewhere where we need to put it. Make sure that when you put your printer down, you have something to put your printer in. A nice flat tray works really well. And the reason for that is, you don't want any of that resin falling all over your printer or all over the floor. That is dangerous. So what you want to do is get a nice flat tray, make sure the printer is inside that so any spills, very easy to clean up. So after your print is complete, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Just make sure you get a nice small container preferably airtight so that when you finish with the IPA you can just close it and use it at a later date. So you're gonna have to be handling resin when you're pouring some into the vat and when you're removing your print to get it cleaned. So you're gonna need some gloves. So let's get to the store. IPA, isopropyl alcohol, also called rubbing alcohol, not to be mixed up with uh, ethanol alcohol. Here you see the gloves, nitrile powder free blue examination gloves. And the rubbing alcohol is called rubbing alcohol because guess what? It's supposed to be really good for your skin. But on the bottle it says isopropyl alcohol 90% which is the recommended percentage to get when you have to clean your part after it's printed. Right, so there you have it. It's all laid out, it's a nice safe space outside and we're gonna have everything that we need. We have our gloves, we have our resin, our scraper, our rubbing alcohol, our container to clean our prints after it's printed and of course, our 3D printer. All right guys, there you have it. Leave me a comment below, let me know how I can do better Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and look out for a video very soon.